there are people uh, valiantly attempting to hold major press freedom um, organizations to power, uh, sorry, um, to account. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, one of them is this uh, kind of motley group, uh, anonymous group of of activists, um, online activists uh, called Zionism Observer. Um, they have waged a number of um, of battles um, uh, online against uh, the Zionist entity and their supporters. Um, Alex has just brought up an article I wrote a, a while back on on how Zionism Observer was in the process of re regularly taking down an absolutely disgusting um, website that the Israeli occupation forces set up for the purposes of extorting Palestinians. So that, that this was they dropped fly, the IOF dropped flyers on people trapped in Gaza, containing um, all sorts of uh, photos of local Gaza residents, saying we have information on you uh, because Israel spies on these people in every way conceivable, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Everything they're saying. Um, to anyone, um, and um, so uh, that they they claim to have a lot of dirt on residents of Gaza that they would release unless people in Gaza uh, gave them information on Hamas, uh, such as where they were hiding or, or whatnot. And um, yeah, um, Zionism Observer repeatedly managed to get this website taken down. They kept the, the Israelis kept setting up a new version, and they finally succeeded in this. Now they have moved their attention to the committee to protect journalists. Um, they uh, th they published a, a large number of threads and engaged in some activism around this. But um, yes, yeah, so the, the committee to protect journalists, um, as its name uh, surely uh, uh, implies, it was in theory set up to uh, promote press freedom and pr defend the, <coughs> the rights and freedoms of journalists to report um, without fear of, of reprisal, whether that's um, getting shot in the head by an Israeli sniper or thrown in a Belarusian jail. Uh, now, um, of course, in reality, um, this is um, rather, um, uh, it, 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 it takes the West's view in, 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 uh, in most matters. Now, there is a re there, one of the indispensable threads that Zionism Observer has published. It contains a series of excellent graphs on where, on how many um, journalists Israel has killed um, and the CPJ's total silence on all of this. However, um, there is a the CPJ, for instance, they have published a database where theoretically you can search um, the, the, uh, to see where in the journalist, uh, where in the world journalists and people uh, have been killed. Now, if you go to this database and type in type of death, scroll down, please. Yeah. So it, it, the CPJ claims only 62, scroll down further, please. Uh, this, uh, only 62 journalists have been killed um, this year. However, if you use their search function for type, uh, if you click on type of death, murder and location, Israel and the occupied territories, and you change the date range from 1992 to 2020 to 2024. No, I'm I'm going. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The, 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 no, it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, so I mean, this is a trick you can do at parties, ladies and gentlemen. Um, although it might be quite a bleak party. Now you move down to 1992 at the very end. So this is allegedly a um. Uh, a comprehensive compendium of all the German journalists who've been killed in the world. If you ch try and look at the, the number of journalists that have been murdered in Israel and the occupied territory since 1992 until today, it only brings up eight journalists. Now, I mean, that is obviously horrific in, in and of itself, but if you include dangerous assignments and crossfire, in the data at the very top, if you go back to cause of death, type of death, right? So, so this is the same database. If you open it up to click on and, and yes, and crossfire as well, that that number eight journalists becomes one hundred and thirty, one hundred and thirty journalists killed in uh, Israel and occupied territories. In reality, the number is a lot higher than that. But what's really, really horrific, 
right is the fact that the CPJ is complicit in the murders of these Germans and they are complicit in the, this 21st century Holocaust being waged by the Zionist entity against the Palestinians by engaging in all sorts of Orwellian um, uh, 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 gymnasm to categorize any journalist shot just because they are wearing a press jacket as either killed in crossfire or killed on a dangerous assignment. Now, Zionist Observer has highlighted how several people who were categorized as having died on a dangerous assignment were actually killed at home. And the total number of journalists that, that Israel has killed since, I mean, since the, uh, in, in, in the past few years is already considerably more than the 130 that, that are listed. Okay. So they, they say now, 190 sorry. this year. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 like that's just this year alone. Yeah, yeah. Zionism Observer claimed that 190 journalists have been killed this year. Now, sorry, Alex, if you could just scroll back on the on the agenda to uh, to Wafa. Um, so this is a Palestinian journalist who I had spoken to personally. Um, it's uh, uh, this hit me like a freight train on September 30th. It was announced um, that uh, Wafa had uh, been killed alongside her husband and two children in an Israeli airstrike um, in Gaza. Uh, so, um, it, it, yeah, it, this, the, the, it, as I said, um, Israel tries to keep track of where everyone on the ground in Gaza is at any one time. Um, and in any case, they're just going to flatten the area. They think this person is in just to make sure, just in case it's incorrect, and kill everyone in the surrounding area too. Like, Wafa was someone who, for many years, um, had been not only um, uh, documenting Israeli abuses, but she, uh, in Gaza, but she had been training other journalists, crucially, because she understood she understood, A, that journalists in Palestine get killed, and B, that it is absolutely vital the world knows what is happening. Okay, so she was on the Israeli occupation forces radar for a number of years. She had had, had countless threats to her life. She had been explicitly phoned by Israeli occupation forces saying, we know where you are and we're going to we're going to kill you if you don't stop doing what you're doing. And she carried on because of her belief in the importance of truth telling and of courageous independent journalism okay um her, her she and her entire family are dead this is another horrific war crime and tragedy inflicted by the israeli occupation forces but i mean again she is just one of potentially close to 200 journalists documenting this who have been killed since the start of this year and the illegal occupation of gaza and the west bank began in 1968 and Zionists have been purging Palestinians from their land and murdering them since 1948 formally. Um, and before that, um, uh, not as a state, as a, a cause I recognize, state actor, but as a bunch of terrorist groups. OK, um, this uh, each and every uh, uh, you know, each and each and every truth teller slain without a word of criticism from these organizations is in itself a crime. Okay, and to diminish um, their deaths as a uh, dangerous assignment or caught in crossfire when they've you know been been reporting and they've just come under fire quite unexpectedly um, as um, uh, as the individual featured in the in our previous clip Fadi uh, did um, it, to, to categorize that as as somehow being caught in crossfire when you are being killed because you have a jacket saying press or media on you which is has been respected in almost every major conflict um in modern history um that you leave that that, that that is a sign that they are they are not to be killed um of course there are incidents like um collateral uh, collateral murder where reuters journalists got severely wounded and injured despite the fact it was known that they were just journalists and there were uh, u.s military hel uh, helicopter pilots laughing about this as they as they carried out the slaughter but yeah um this is this is an age-old story um we can't let them get away with this we need to keep 
And again, this is why Wafa and other um, fearless Palestinians have, uh, 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 have done the same ever since 1948. The world needs to know about this. Keep publicizing this. Keep talking about Palestine. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, go ahead, Alex. No, that's fine. Uh, I, I appreciate everything you've had to say on this. I just wanted to, and this is a, a, a late edition, kind of impromptu, but... I wanted to pull up the Committee to Protect Journalists' Financials. Um, this is from 2023. So as you can see, these are largely billionaire foundations, the likes of Piero Midiar, people who, mm. who run the media. ABC News is listed first. These are the ones that are failing journalists on the front lines. Of this conflict it's people it's people like you know i mean i mean if you go through these names you will see a lot here michael bloomberg you know um it's it's mm. the the capital bank of america um and again piero midiar is a big backer of, of the committee to protect journalists this is the guy who runs who owns the intercept who owns media outlets all over the world. Um, and he goes and he gives journalists at his own outlets awards, but his, his, th this, this outfit ostensibly aimed at protecting journalists, which he funds does not recognize Palestinian journalists largely. So I just, yeah. I thought that was worth adding. Yeah. And I think there's another point to make as well, that like, um, you know, a lot of award-winning journalist organizations um, or award-giving journalist organizations are completely silent um, um, on this. Uh, it's, it, 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 you know, um, to get to, to use an example, um, like Bellingcat, right, um, as we've discussed before, it's this very dubious um, pseudo um, independent um, investigations firm, which just so happens to unearth all of all of these uh, um, uh, exposures, which are uh, dynamite from the perspective of the CIA and MI6 um, and uh, through often rather opaque means. Um, and uh, they've been awarded, they've been hailed as like the future of journalism through their kind of open source, quote unquote, wizardry. Um, they have had virtually nothing to say about um, the, 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 the 21st century Holocaust in Gaza. Uh, they've had nothing to say about the murder of Palestinian journalists and they're being hailed as like this groundbreaking force in journalism. Uh, they've won awards for all of their reporting on alleged Russian war crimes. Nothing, then they've published virtually nothing since October, October 7th last year on Israeli crimes against the Palestinians despite the vast amount of video and audio um, uh, material uh, um, and just uh, just eyewitness testimony that is published on a minutely basis um, from Gaza, often by um, uh, people like Wafa, um, uh, often by, like, by people like uh, Rifa al um, uh often by um, yes, uh, that, that, that people like Fadi Al Wahidi, who um, we, we we saw that him come under fire as he was doing um, his job um, and fulfilling his duty to the truth and to history, um, documenting this. So um, yeah, a dangerous world out yeah. there. What what do you know? I mean, I'm lo I'm looking further through this list of funders for the CPJ as as you're speaking, and you have all yeah. of these. One, two, three, four, five, six Zionist organizations, six major Zionist organizations in the United States funding the Committee to Protect Journalists. It's no wonder that they don't have the time of day for Palestinian journalists. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, they're not journalists, they're Hamas. But um, I, the, I, I yeah. mean, yeah, the, I mean, and it's, and I think, I think, yeah, it's important to note as well. I mean, I was, I was, that was a bit of gallows humor because uh, the, the new, uh, all of the news coming out of Gaza um, and uh, has has uh, hit me like a freight train for yes, uh, over a year now. 
Uh, but then sometimes when it's someone you know, as it has, as I have sadly had the experience several times, um, who has been caught up in the crossfire, as it were, uh, yeah, it, 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 it really does hit you. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.